The Atlantic Coast Cutting Horse Association was launched in 1979 to develop a show that would be convenient for cutters on the East Coast. The Augusta Futurity was launched in 1980 with 140 entries which steadily have grown over the years and last year attracted over 960 entries including the new weekend show format leading up to the main aged event. We're joined now with Mr. Mark Sen from the Augusta Futurity, eight-time Augusta Futurity champion Austin Shepard, and three-time Augusta Futurity champion Craig Thompson. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. Here we are. We're, we're, we're coming into like the, the second chapter, the second show in the new chapter of the Augusta Futurity. Mark, you took over the reins from Mr. Billy Morris uh, this year. The 2023 show was your first show. Uh, it was phenomenal. Yeah. We had a great, great show and paid out over a million dollars winnings and uh, uh, also um, just had a phenomenal show and a lot of good people came and had fun. Yeah, so we started out the show with, uh, with several days of weekend shows first, NCHA weekend shows. Tell us what's going to be happening this year at the, at the 2024 event. Right, we're going to have still two, two weekends but because we had way too many entries on those. We're going to four-year-old open and non-pro the first day, that's it. Second day be open non-pro, 25 novice, 25 novice non-pro. So, so breaking that up a little breaking bit. Breaking it up some and, and making the day shorter. Okay. Not uh, wearing everybody out before the Yeah, before we start. start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so absolutely. Yeah. So, well, uh, and, and this year you've got over $300,000 in added money. Correct. Um, what what else are we, we seeing there? We've got the stallion incentive as well? Yes. And $50,000 stallion incentive. 300000 added is, is real... Uh, it's, uh, I think we've done a great job in distributing of that. We have 100,000 added into the four-year-old open. We have 60,000 added into the five-year-old open. The non-pros have 30,000 each in them, which is fantastic if you look at a lot of shows. Yeah. And then the amateurs have paid out well, and we give, we give really cool prizes to, but an awards. So yeah. it's, uh, but I really think uh, from our, a standpoint of payouts and stuff, you know, it, we've, we've, we've raised the money actually that comes in uh, through people that want to see Augusta be successful, and we've, I've been, we've been fortunate to have a lot of people that are willing to put a lot of money by. Yeah. Austin, the, the blue walls, the orange dirt, and that's a little bit browner down there in Perry from Augusta maybe, but what is it that draws you back to this show year after year? You know, just tradition. I mean, I've been going to this show since I was a little kid. I mean, I can remember, I can remember my mother taking me out of elementary school and driving me up there to watch Dad's show in the four-year-old finals on Saturday night, mm -hmm. and it's just... It's just part of our family's tradition. Yeah, and then Cade missed several days showing out there too, so <laughs> school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's the same feel without the discotheque. <laughs> that's, that's what it I is. I've never though. heard of that place once again. <laughs> <laughs> I've only seen it driving driving through. But, uh, <laughs> Craig, we saw some new faces there uh, in Perry, Georgia this year for the Augusta Futurity. Tell us a little bit about that. What did you What did you feel there? Yeah. What did you see? It, it's been a, a really overall positive uh, feedback from, from what I've gotten from people that have come, you know, last year, you know, especially with, with all of the additions Mark has done and what Gwen Cooey has added to it. Uh, I've talked to several. I know James Payne has mentioned he's coming back. Uh, Cullen Chartier, uh, Cass Tatum, you know, several, several people. And, and then with the revised schedule, I think it's going to bring even more interest to it. Uh, Steve Elhoff, just to mention a few, have already showed interest uh, in coming and supporting Augusta. Well, and how much of, of the fact that, you know, Augusta traditionally, we had two different places. We had one place where the horses were kept in the practice band, and then there was the, the travel down to the downtown Augusta yeah. to come and show. Obviously, there was some weather restrictions. There was yeah. a train that you had to kind of detour around. Yeah. Um, now everything is in one place, and they're world-class facilities. I mean, what, what has that meant for this show? Is that, do you, do you I, give that credit for the growth? I, I, don't, I don't think you can question the facility at all, especially in, in, the, in the new building that we're in now. I mean, there's so much more room, plenty of room to get your horses prepared. Uh, the arena feels good, you know, and then with the additions and the improvements we're going to make to the practice pen area and the flag area out back. And then also we're going to add another third additional building to where if a person wants to do blocks or additional flag works and, you know, if you've got time to go down there and do your hourly block or you bring three-year-olds with you and, I mean, it's going to really open up the, the space uh, that much more. And then the, the stalls, they're, they're very accommodating. 
uh, you know, depending on where you're at, you can stay under one roof at all times, basically. Yeah. Uh, so that's what I read. There's always going to be rain, you yeah. know, but the, the, I didn't think the weather was overall bad last year. You, we, had very one, nice. we had one or two nights with rain, but, yeah. you know. That's uh, just, you're going to get that anywhere. Exactly. Whether it's Florida or California, yeah, exactly. you're going to have some weather and whatever. It didn't stop you from working or getting ready for the yeah. show or anything like that. Yeah. You yeah. Know. Austin, what makes the, the schedule, uh, and especially this new schedule, what makes it so cutter friendly for you guys? Well, it's just more accommodating for the trainers, you know, getting to show your horses through the go-arounds, through the finals before your non-pros and amateurs get on them. And, and the non-pros and amateurs enjoy that too. They mm -hmm. don't feel like they're getting your way, so I, I feel like a lot more people are going to show their horse where maybe they wouldn't have if I made the finals and they didn't want to mess their horse up. But uh, and, and for guys like John Mitchell said he would he would be interested in coming if uh, we would change the schedule. So we expect to see him there, but um, um, which is exciting too. But uh, you know, like he said, he said, you know, I make the four year old finals. I sit around for four days until yeah, the four year old exactly, finals. Exactly, that's so, the point. You can be in and out of there in four or five days if you just do the open. Well, and I think, you know, we've seen NCHA make that change with the Super Stakes. There's several other shows that are now kind of adopting that schedule too. And I, I think it is, it, it, when you look at it, it makes more sense. Yeah. 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 Mark, we've got a we've got a new thing as well this year in 2024, the Mulligan Round. Talk us talk to us about that. Right, we have uh, something in the four-year-old open. And we call it the Augusta Mulligan because Augusta is known for golf. So if you know golf, you know that's a, you get to go uh, do a do-over. So um, in the four-year-old, if for some reason you lose a cow or you don't you don't qualify to make the finals, you can actually pay up another entry fee, which all but the cattle charge goes back to the jackpot. And the way we figured it's actually going to add money to, to, to the 100000 It's going to add more in there. We're going to take 20% of that, those people that sign up for the mulligan round and uh, with a max of six plus ties back right. to the finals. Yep. So, you know, we, we're taking advantage of the fact that we're one of the first shows of the year and the fact that a lot of people want to show, you know, you want to get, some, you want to get that four-year-old shown. And so, you know, hey, if you don't do good first time, come back and show them again. Yeah. And is that and just that in chance. the open four-year-old? That's just in the four-year-old yeah. open. Yeah, okay, all right. So let's talk about Augusta Futurity Finals Night. I mean, it's always a special night there. Austin, what's it like? I mean, you've, you've shown there so much and, and walking to the herd or sitting there in the corner helping your dad in the past or helping Cade. What's that like, that atmosphere? Oh, it, you know, it, actually in Augusta, it was, it was pretty incredible yeah. because the entire mm -hmm. town did rally around that. That was their show. And there were people that never went to a horse show other than that night in yeah. that town. Seen so, a horse for the first time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, people would have wanted, wanted to come pet your turnback mm -hmm. horse. And yeah. I mean, there were sure enough city people that got behind the fraternity. So that, that made that really special. But um, I'll say the city of Perry's done a great job, too. Um, I mean, the, the two years we've had it there, we've had a good crowd the yeah. night of the finals. And, you know, it's funny as we see a lot of the same faces we saw in Augusta mm -hmm. to come down and watch the finals. Yeah, and I, I actually talked to a few people there that, that were from Augusta, and, and they said, you know, they used to go there every every year for the finals, and now they just got to travel a little bit further, but they made a whole weekend out of it, and they come and stay and, and do all that. So I think, you know, for that area, it is such an important show because it is, you know, it is their one chance to come and see the best of the best exactly. in the cutting horse industry. B very accommodating, too, with the facility. I mean, all your hotels, several restaurants right there you know within a half a mile to a mile of the grounds and then next exit down uh, several other options and you're close to downtown perry and what i really liked about it the the people at the restaurants you know they ask you hey yeah we're, we're interested in coming you know watching your horses work and yeah. You know what's rodeo all about? Well, it's not really rodeo. This is a cutting, but Sometimes we'd love to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you know, is they have some <laughs> I hope so. We got other pickup men ready. <laughs> Scott's Scott, going to jump right there in there you go. Yeah, there on his you tractor. You're coming driving right in. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're looking forward to it again. It's you know, and it's it's such a fun show. And and again, this year, Gwen Cooey's going to be in charge in the office. Everything ran really smooth with Cheryl Fulmer there. Sherry Fulmer there again, um, you know, and, the, and some of the traditional Augusta staff that we're used to seeing there. It's just, it's, it's a lot of friendly faces there and it's a great place to come show. So we're looking forward to it. You can check out more on the AugustaFaturity.com website or talk to Mark here at the Futurity while you're here. I've been going to the Augusta Futurity basically my whole life. My dad's a trainer. Um, since I can remember, I've been going. The move from uh, Augusta to Perry actually has been great. Uh, the place is great to work out of. It's more convenient, I feel. 
and just getting people excited about it and, and, and showing up and, and getting the numbers up, I think he's done a great job. I feel like this show is so important to our area because it's our premier show. It's the crown jewel of the East Coast, I feel, and, and for people to be able to, from the East Coast, to be able to show up and, and they don't get to come to Fort Worth and a lot of these age events, I feel like that's their time. Uh, last year was the first time I got to go to Augusta. Uh, it was a great show. Uh, the reason I went out there was just to be around a uh, different crowd of people, really, and uh, the payouts were good, and I'd never been on the East Coast, and I thought it'd be a fun experience. Uh, when I went out there, I took uh, quite a few customers with me. They all had a great experience, and um, it was just a really fun show. They, they had it a really nice atmosphere, and uh, people really liked cutting out there. I'd recommend this show to anybody because it's fun atmosphere. They make cutting fun. Uh, the cows are going to be great and the payouts, I mean they have the stallion incentive payouts and it's just everything you want in a cut and it's a great way to start the year.